Hello. Is my voice audible to all of you? Can you all hear? Uh, your voice is audible and you are clearly visible. Now. Hello. Hello. Good evening, all. I'm audible. Can you all hear my voice? Jyoti Singh Toma, uh, I'm audible to you. Can you hear my voice? You are audible. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you. I just wanted to confirm it. Fine. So before uh, I start, uh, I just wanted to give uh, a brief introduction of me. My name is Asif Haknal. I'm uh, giving mentorship for the UPC student for the last seven to uh, eight years. So this discussion will be useful for both, uh, you know, those who are veterans, like who have already given two or three attempts, but still could not be able to qualify the prelims exam. And this will be also useful for the first time, uh, uh, those who are appearing for the first time, as well as uh, if some students or some aspirants who have just you know applied, but they have not done the proper preparation or dedicated preparation for the last you know, four to five months, even for them also, uh, this uh, discussion will be very useful. So as I told you that I'm going to discuss with you the 15 day strategy, and as well as I'm going to discuss some of the PYQ questions of 2023 and based on that 2023 uh, prelims question, I will be giving you uh, uh, the strategy for, you know, uh, the uh, 2024 prelims exam. So uh, when I go through the last year uh, cutoff, agar aap sabhi log 2023 ka jo prelims exam ka agar it was very surprising to everybody that cutoff was very low, like, uh, uh, like uh, for SC category, it was around 60. For open, it was around 75. And for OBC category, again, it was around 65 to 70 something. So why there was, uh, there was such a low cutoff last year? So when I analyzed it and when everybody analyzed it, uh, of course, uh, there was one reason that why the cutoff was uh, very low. One was the CSAC because uh, for last two to three years, the difficulty level or you can say uh, the way the UPC is framing question in CSAT, especially content reasoning, uh, that has become one of the reason because many students who were very good in GS paper one, they could not qualify CSAT and because of that also the cutoff was very low. Apart from that, there was one more reason that why the cutoff was very low, especially in GS paper one. The one reason was, you know, uh, 
the type of or the pattern of the new question which has been introduced by uh, upsc upsc ne pichle saal mein 2023 mein kuch naye pattern ke question unhone introduce kiye the pattern naya tha lekin uh, you know uh, jo areas the jin topics pe upsc question puch raha hai wo same hi tha but pattern naya aaya tha so that is why many students got panic many students got you know fumbled in exam hall and they were not ready for such type of you know surprises in exam hall and because of that you know uh, many students uh, they have either attempted too much high you know the questions or they have attempted very low you know, number of the questions and these were the two reasons why you know uh, the cut off was very low so as i always say that you know prelims exam is all about strategy prelims exam jo hota hai wo zyada se zyada strategy pe depend hota hai aap kitna pad chuke ho ya kitne test series aapne diya hai ya kitna material aapne padha hai aapne jo popular market mein jo sources hote hain उनको आपने पढ़ा है या नहीं पढ़ा है इनसे ज्यादा मैटर करता है कि एग्जाम डे के लिए आप कितने रेडी हो या आपकी स्ट्रेटेजी प्रॉपर है या नहीं एंड यू नो द स्ट्रेटेजी फॉर एग्जाम डे दैट फॉर टू आवर्स ऑफ दैट एग्जाम डे उसके लिए यू नीड टू हैव द प्रीवाइड टू एनालिस इफ यू गो थ्रू द इंटरव्यूज और इफ यू नो लिसन टू दो टॉपर्स इन इवन इन टू एज वेल एज इन टू मेजोरिटी ऑफ द टॉपर्स आर नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट Twenty-three, like top one, top two, top three. Majority of them have followed the same strategy that is called PYQ. Believe me, even in two thousand nineteen, two thousand seventeen, I also qualified the prelims exam by just fifteen days. You know the PYQ analysis, and based on that, in the question in a different manner but the areas on which upsc is asking the question it keeps repeating again and again from the pyq like almost you know it's not like that all 100 questions are repeated but you know out of 100 around you know 60 to 70 questions and maybe around sometimes maybe around 80 questions are repeated from the same thing from so what you need to do like what i suggest you agar aap logon ne koi test series join kiya hai agar aapne koi test diya hai so don't worry about the marks which you have got it in the you know the test ho sakta hai i have many examples you know jinhone bahut sare jo popular test hai in the mark Now seventy-five or fifty in the test, but still they could qualify the prelims exam, actual prelims exam to UPSC. So what I always say that your focus should be on the actual UPSC prelims exam and not on the popular test series which is there in the market. Yes, of course, these tests help you in you know uh, having a. कौन से टॉपिक का चीजें आपके घर में नहीं रहते हैं उन चीजों को समझने के लिए टेस्ट सीरीज आर इम्पोर्टेंट बट अगर आप टेस्ट सीरीज के हिसाब से अपना मेंटालिटी बनाओगे जिस तरीके के क्वेश्चन टेस्ट सीरीज में पूछे जाते हैं उसके अकॉर्डिंगली अगर आप उस उस मेंटालिटी को लेकर फिल्म एग्जाम के लिए यूपीएससी के एक्चुअल एग्जाम Society is also having a certain strategy, a certain you know the pattern, but that I will be discussing some time again. But today I am going to discuss with you the strategy for GS paper one. Like so, PYQ ka agar hum analysis karenge, you know the nature of the 2023 question paper ya pattern agar ab check karenge, to usme do nature hai. Ah, uh, first putting. It is a first fifty questions were based on the core, you know, the subject like static part, like core geography, core policy, core, you know, the economic concept, core, you know, the environmental and ecology concept, as well as you know the core uh, science. Is pe based question.
टॉपिक्स तो उस पर बेस्ट कुछ क्वेश्चन पूछे गए तो दोज फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन You could be easily solved if you have, you know, read those question paper properly. If you understood the, you know, the psychology of the question framer. His very case, a question framer ne question ko frame kiya the. You will find one trend. You will find one particular psychology. You will find one particular, you know, uh, uh, the expectation of the UPSC. तो उसको आपको समझना जरूरी है तो आने वाले दस दिनों में आई वॉन्ट दैट एटलीस्ट यू शुड गिव वन आर फॉर यू नो पीवाई क्यू एनालिसिस पीवाई क्यू मतलब टॉपिक की लिस्ट आपको बनाना है एक क्वेश्चन से कम से कम मुझे लगता है चार या पांच टॉपिक सब टॉपिक्स का आपके बनते हैं उन सब टॉपिक्स को आपको प्रिपरेशन करना है उसके अलावा वाई यू नो 2023 क्वेश्चन पेपर पीवाई टू विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू बिकॉज यू गेट अ फील ऑफ द एग्जाम यू गेट अ फील ऑफ यू नो यूपीएससी का जो स्टैंडर्ड होता है यूपीएससी का यू नो एक स्टैंडर्ड उन्होंने मेंटेन किया हुआ लाइक दे डोंट आस्क टू मच वेरी डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन और दे डोंट आस्क टू मच इजी क्वेश्चन यूपीएससी ऑलवेज मेंटेन अ स्टैंडर्ड एंड जिस उस फीलिंग को समझना जरूरी होता है लाइक आई ऑलवेज गिव एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ One of my, you know, favorite cricket player, uh, uh, Australia का एक cricket player था. His name is called Matthew Hayden. I don't know this generation Matthew Hayden के बारे में जानते हैं नहीं. But what Matthew Hayden used to do, like before one day of the exam or just before the exam, he used to go and sit on the pitch of the, you know, the cricket ground. Cricket ground के वो pitch पर जाकर वो बैठा करता था. And used to meditate there to just to get to get a feeling कि कल जब match होगा तो किस तरीके से होगा, crowd कैसे होगा. कैसे बॉल आएंगे कैसे मैं उसको यू नो प्ले करूंगा ये सारे चीजों को फील करने के लिए यू टू फ्रॉम दी नो द पिच सिमिलरली आपको भी वैसे ही करना है तो आपको क्या करना है या आने वाले दस दिन में एटलीस्ट वन आर यू नीड टू गिव फॉर द पी वाई क्यू पुल आउट यू नो द टेन क्वेश्चन पी वाई क्यू के जितने भी क्वेश्चन है उसको दस क्वेश्चन आपको निकालना है ईच क्वेश्चन यू हैव रीड इट केयरफुली एंड ऑफकोर्स वेरी वेरी सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट चीज जो है जो बहुत सारे you know on uh, the preparation ya yeah, aspirants uh, jo nahi karte hain that is you know they don't check the official answer of the pre white you know bahut sare aise hota na ki immediately after the prelims exam uh, you know uh, bahut sare jo news uh, sorry bahut sare jo upsc ke portal hain ya bahut sare coaching institute ke apne answer ki release hote hain but agar aapne dekha hoga there is a huge difference uh, between the upsc's you know official answer ki as well as the answer ki of the coaching institute and coaching classes तो गलत होते हैं आप द कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट कंपेयर टू द यूपीएससी ऑफिशियल आंसर के तो ये देखना क्यों जरूरी है बिकॉज यूपीएससी क्या सोचता है बिकॉज बहुत सारे ऐसे यू नो क्वेश्चन होते हैं जो जिसमें यू नो थोड़ा सा यू नो देर इज कपेसिटी और देर इज एम्बिक्विटी की ए भी बराबर हो सकता है या बी भी बराबर हो सकता है या सही हो सकता है गलत हो सकता है तो आपको क्या करना है आने वाले दस दिन में ये सारे जितने भी सारे क्वेश्चन है ना वो क्वेश्चन को देखना है और यूपीएससी का ऑफिशियल आंसर की क्या है इसको आपको देखना जरूरी सो दिस इज व्हाट यू शुड डू माय स्ट्रेटेजी जो मैं आने वाले पंद्रह दिन में जो व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू डू विद माय स्टूडेंट्स यू नो दोस हु फॉर दोस हु आई एम गिविंग मेंटरशिप उनके लिए व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू डू आई एम गोइंग टू टेक 10 क्वेश्चन ईच डे फ्रॉम फर्स्ट टू 10 क्वेश्चन ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर डे आई विल बी एनालाइजिंग ऑल दोस 10 क्वेश्चंस based on that 10 question i will be giving you the list of the expected topic matlab ek question se related around 5 to 6 you know questions ya areas hain jo jis pe question pucha ja sakta hai and uh, next day what you are supposed to do like you are supposed to you know read all those topics revise all those topics i will be giving you some of my notes and i will be also giving you the sources like kaun se sources aapko in topic ko revise karna hai that i will be telling to you तो इस तरीके से नो टेन डेज फॉर टेन डेज वी कैन कवर हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन एंड वी विल बी कवरिंग अराउंड यू नो टू फिफ्टी टॉपिक ब्रीफ में हमें करना है जितना प्रोलिम्स एग्जाम के लिए जरूरी है जिस तरीके से क्वेश्चन फ्रेम किया जाता है जिस तरीके से स्टेटमेंट फ्रेम किया जाता है बाई द यूपीएससी जिस तरीके से मैच को पेयर में मैचिंग किया जाता है और यूपीएससी जिस तरीके से यू नो क्वेश्चन को फ्रेम कर रहा है ऑप्शन को फ्रेम कर रहा है उसको अगर हम समझेंगे टेन डेज में यू विल गेट एन फीलिंग वॉट एग्जैक्टली यूपीएससी इज एक्सपेक्टिंग फ्रॉम यू बिलीव में बहुत सारे ऐसे टॉपर्स हैं जैसे मैंने आपको बताया था कि उन्होंने यही चीज को फॉलो किया है और वो क्वालिफाई हुए 
बहुत सारे ऐसे अस्पारेंस हैं दे आर दे आर जस्ट रीडिंग एंड रीडिंग एंड रीडिंग एंड रीडिंग दे आर जस्ट सॉल्विंग द यू नो पॉपुलर टेस्ट इन द मार्केट एंड वो बस पढ़ते जा रहे हैं पढ़ते जा रहे हैं पी वाई वो करते नहीं है लास्ट टाइम में या दे डोंट सी द ऑफिशियल आंसर की ऑफ द यू एंड देन एग्जाम हॉल जब यूपीएससी कोई क्वेश्चन पूछता है तो उन्हें ऐसे लगता है कि या तो यूपीएससी आउट ऑफ द सिलेबस क्वेश्चन पूछ रहा है या तो उन्हें ऐसे लगता है कि इस बार यूपीएससी ने यू नो यूपीएससी इज अनप्रडिक्टेबल यूपीएससी इज नेवर यू नो अनप्रडिक्टेबल यस अराउंड यू नो ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी क्वेश्चन आर अनप्रडिक्टेबल बट अराउंड सिक्सटी टू सेवेंटी क्वेश्चन ऐसे होते हैं कि जो प्रेडिक्ट किया जा सकता है द प्रॉब्लम इज दैट यू नो मेजोरिटी ऑफ द अस्पारेंट्स यू नो दॉलो मेजोरिटी दस्पारेंट्स आर रनिंग बिहाइंड those those unpredictable questions and they don't focus more on those predictable questions jo aap se, se revise तो rather than going for new topics, new concept, ya, ko se padne mein time waste karne ke bajaye, jin topic ko aapne already अच्छे से पढ़ा हुआ है जिन topic पर यूपीएससी बार बार question पूछता है ऐसे topics को revise करना जरूरी है focus more on those predictable areas, focus more on those predictable topics. so this is what i am telling to you again one more important thing which i observe like i am giving a very honest opinion to you na upsc pichle do teen saal se lagatar jo popular material hai market mein there are so many popular you know the sources for each subject like quality ke liye lakshmi kant hai ya you know current affairs ke liye pt365 hai bahut sara aise bahut popular material hai market mein jo students follow karte hain but it has been observed that upsc is deliberately not asking the question in prelims exam from those you know the popular market mein. तो जस्ट आपने आपको वो एक बार कंसेप्ट क्लियर करने के लिए पढ़ना जरूरी है लेकिन उसके बावजूद भी यू नीड टू डू समथिंग एक्स्ट्रा एंड यू नीड टू फॉलो सम कॉमन सेंस यू नीड टू फॉलो सम यू नो द लॉजिक इन एग्जाम हॉल यू हैव टू फॉलो योर ओन इंट्यूशन यू हैव टू फॉलो योर ओन यू नो द गट फीलिंग एग्जाम में होता है ना कि नो ये क्वेश्चन मैंने मैंने अगर सॉल्व किया तो ये सही हो सकता है या ये स्टेटमेंट सही हो सकता है उसको आपको फॉलो करना होगा बिकॉज आपने अगर सीरियसली यूपीसी का प्रिपरेशन किया है आपने सीरियसली सारे बेसिक सब्जेक्ट को अगर पढ़ा है आपने न्यूज़पेपर को अगर खुद से रेगुलरली पढ़ा है बिलीव मी कि एग्जाम हॉल में आंसर बनता है बस आपको आंसर फाइंड आउट करके आना चाहिए सो इट इज ऑलवेज यू नो नॉट द लैक ऑफ द नॉलेज विच फेल्स यू इन प्रॉब्लम एग्जाम इट इज द लैक ऑफ एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ नॉलेज विच फेल्स यू मतलब आपके पास में जितना भी आपने पढ़ा है वट एवर यू हैव स्टडीड वट एवर यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द नेचर ऑफ द एग्जाम उसको अगर आपने समझा है उसके बाद उसको बस आपको उस दो घंटे में एग्जीक्यूट करना है और उस दो घंटे में एग्जीक्यूट करने के लिए आने वाले 10 से 15 दिन आपके लिए बहुत ज्यादा इम्पोर्टेंट होते हैं क्लियर सो दिस इज आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू गिव यू सम ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट यू नो द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ वट आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू तो आई बेसिकली वॉन्टेड टू डिस्कस टेन क्वेश्चन विथ यू टूडे लाइक फर्स्ट टेन क्वेश्चन ऑफ टू थाउजेंड एग्जाम and based on that uh, i will just give you how to analyze the question paper and idea how to analyze question paper how to you know make the list of the topics based on that question and as well as you know kaise uh, uh, answer ko find out karna kya psychology hai usko hame dekhne ki zarurat hai is it clear i hope uh, my voice is clear to all of you and you got whatever i have discussed till now i will be taking some of the questions uh, of course at the end of the session first let me discuss the 10 questions with you so that आपको एक आइडिया आ जाए कि व्हाट इज माय स्ट्रेटजी व्हाट इज आई एम गोइंग टू यू नो हेल्प यू इन इन दिस कमिंग 15 डेज एंड बिलीव मी जिसने भी इस एग्जाम का प्रिपरेशन सीरियसली नहीं किया दे कैन आल्सो क्वालीफाई द प्रीलिम्स एग्जाम आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट मेंस प्रीलिम्स एग्जाम कोई भी क्वालीफाई कर सकता है अगर आप 30 से 40 क्वेश्चन कॉमन सेंस एंड लॉजिक से अगर आपने इस्तेमाल किया वन ऑफ माय स्टूडेंट इन 2019 आई विल जस्ट गिव एन एग्जांपल इन 2019 वन स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम हरियाणा she appeared a uh, prelims exam in 2019 without any preparation without any preparation matlab she was very good during the academics she was good in uh, during her graduation etc she had some basic knowledge but koi serious preparation usne nahi kiya she appeared in 2019 she had you know appeared all the test series she had given everything like she had you know given around 10 to 12 hours in a day uske bawajood bhi she could not qualify the prelims exam in 2022 because bahut bar aisa hota hai ki aap bahut zyada padhte ho zyada confused ho jate ho aur
Clear? Am I audible? Can you all hear my voice? So believe me, anybody who had basic, you know, preparation, just ne basic preparation kiya hai, just ne thoda bahut. Fine. So let me start with the questions. I hope I can you can see the screen. Is screen visible to all of you? Please let me know whether the screen is visible to all of you or not. No screen or not? Is it visible? Just give me a minute. Is it visible now? Hello, am I? Yes. Just a minute. Ask you. Just a minute. Am I audible to all? Uh, just yes. Okay. Uh, see, I would like to say one thing. Uh, just a minute. Okay. Uh, see, can you all see my screen? My screen is audible to all of you. Uh, yeah, better Sneha. Uh, yes, yeah, Sneha, tell me, screen is visible, no? Yes, ma'am, it's visible. Okay. Uh, do one thing. See, all of you can see this comment box. I guess, like, no, this is uh working. Open this comment section and whatever question, like, no, he would be asking. Yeah, Joy, this is the discussion thread. So, like, no, see, you can see these questions would be asked by him. Like, no, he is going to discuss the 2023's question paper. So, what you can do, you can drop your answers here. All right. Am I clear to all of you? It is easy, right? You people can comment section given over here. You can drop your answers or whatever, like, you no, know, suppose many times we have the explanation, justification for a particular statement. So you can uh, answer your questions here. All right. That is on my side. Okay. Yeah, please continue. Thank you. Uh, for tomorrow. So question number one, I think uh, the screen is not visible to all of you, right? Is the screen, screen visible? Yes, yes. You face this question before. Is it visible? Okay. Yes, it is. Fine. So let's begin with question number one. The first 10 questions in 2023 in series A was related to 23 plus exam. 10 questions were based on the application of geography. That is applied geography and 10 questions were from the core uh, of geography and majority of the questions were from uh, geography of India. So question number one, question number one, there are three statements given by the UPSC that is, you know, Jhelum river passes through the Guller lake and Krishna river directly feeds into the Poleru lake and meandering of the Gandhar river, uh, sorry, Gandak river formed the Kanwar lake. So you can see this question has been repeated from 2022 as well as from 2021 and 2020 prelims exam. In 2021 prelims, 22 prelims exam, there was one question related to, you know, Indus river system. There was one question on Indus river system that the question was, you know, the question was based on the tributaries of the Indus. They have asked a question in 2022 that okay, there are two rivers of the tributaries of the Indus river, which joins uh, uh, first and then it directly, you know, drains into the 
इंडस रिवर ऐसा ही क्वेश्चन पूछा गया था कि इंडस रिवर में से रन फाइव ट्रिब्यूटरीज ऑफ द इंडस रिवर उसमें से दो रिवर ऐसे हैं जो पहले एक दूसरे को मीट करते हैं उसके बाद में वन रिवर आफ्टर द संगम इट ज्वाइंस टू द इंडस रिवर ऐसे क्वेश्चन पूछा गया था तो इसका मतलब क्या है कि यूपीएससी हैज रिपीटेड द क्वेश्चन ऑन यू नो द इंडस रिवर सिस्टम और द ट्रिब्यूटरीज ऑफ द इंडस रिवर सिस्टम तो आपको क्या करना है इस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन में आंसर क्या है दैट आई विल बी गिविंग यू टू लेटर ऑन But I will first. I will be giving you the areas on which UPSC is asking the question. So as a UPSC aspirant, if you have to revise, then you have to revise the Indus River system. Apart from that, the question has also been asked on the other river system, popular river system in the UPSC is Brahmaputra. Then you also need to study about the Ganga River system, and you also need to study about the you know the Godavari River system. so this godavari river system and if you get time agar aapke paas mein waqt hai the other major rivers like kaveri krishna and you know uh, the uh, uh, narmada river system and tapti river system so when you are studying the river system all these river system on which area you will be focusing like i am just telling about the prelims exam point of view you will be focusing on the ori I'm not able to talk to you. Can you all hear my voice now? I'm not able to talk to you, right? I think there was some uh, technical problem. Uh, my screen was not visible. Am I visible to you now? Can you all hear my voice? Okay. So what I was telling to you that when you are studying the Jhelum River, uh, you know, when you are studying the river system, you need to know what is the origin of that river. If there are any important lakes on that river, if there are any important cities on that river. and if if that if that river follows through any important biosphere reserve or any important national park or any you know ecologically sensitive or ecologically important you know the area to ye cheeze aapko dekhni hai about all the you know the river system in india to ye aapko revise karna hai because every year there is at least one or two questions are asked based on the river system so let me go through this question again jhelum river passes through gular lake i think this is correct then krishna river directly yeah you can see when you are solving the upsc prelims question you need to find out some of the trigger words you need to find out some of the extremes you know the words in the statement so you can see that krishna river directly feeds to the kolleru lake there was one question on kolleru lake in 2019 2019 mein question pucha gaya tha about the kolleru lake kolleru lake lies between you know on the border of tamil nadu and andhra pradesh आंध्र प्रदेश और तमिलनाडु के बॉर्डर पे ये लोकेटेड है तो यही स्टेटमेंट क्वेश्चन में पूछा गया था दैट कोलेरी लोक लाइज ऑन द बॉर्डर बिटवीन तमिलनाडु एंड आंध्र प्रदेश वेदर दिस स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट और रॉन्ग ये पूछा गया सो यू कैन सी दैट द इफ यू हैव गॉन थ्रू 2019 और 2020 क्वेश्चन पेपर और वहां से जिन टॉपिक्स पे जिन एरिया पे क्वेश्चन पूछा गया है बार-बार तो वो आपको देखना जरूरी है सो कोलेरू लेक सो यू कैन चेक इट आउट हियर सो सेकंड स्टेटमेंट इज रॉन्ग बिकॉज़ extreme statement directly feeds to the kolleru lake third hai meandering of the gandak river formed by the kanmar lake i think this statement is also wrong to aapko gandak river ke bare mein bhi dekhna hai you need to go and check it out about the gandak river where it is gandak and kosi as well as some of the tributaries of the brahmaputra to ye sare rivers ke bare mein aapko dekhna hai as a revision clear so the answer the official answer of this question i guess that is only one so the one second statement is also wrong and third statement is also wrong tributary kaun sa hai left bank tributary kaun sa hai ye sare cheeze aapko dekhna hai as a last time revision topic now let's move on to question number 2 this question has been asked इट वॉज अगेन मैच द पेयर टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन दो हजार बाईस से ऐसे क्वेश्चन पूछे जा रहे हैं प्राइवेटली ओन पोर्ट इन इंडिया एंड विशाखापट्टनम पोर्ट लार्जेस्ट कंटेनर पोर्ट इन इंडिया सो दिस क्वेश्चन हैज बीन आस्ड अबाउट दी इन द मैच द पेयर कैटेगरी सो राइट इट डाउन Uh, this question was asked because the Mundra port was in the news. Anyone knows 
why the is owned this adani owned this you know the uh, coat and that is why it was in the news so this second statement is the second pair is correct the so second pair is correct and even i think last third pair is also correct all the major ports of india the east coast coast port as well as west coast port but those ports which are located on the east and those who are located on the west apart from that you also Fourteen to fifteen ports, so that's what you need to check it out. Clear? So the answer of this question is only two pairs. If you only two pairs, then your answer, you know, is going to take a thumb rule. Is going to take a you know, uh, my analysis is that the majority of the answers, not all, but majority of the, like maybe around. of the question answer is only two pairs so this is just a you know on uh, the trend this is just you can say the analysis whether it works or not i don't know but majority of the questions you know, only two pairs is the correct answer especially in match the pair type of question ये है कि अदर क्वेश्चन उसमें भी मैक्सिमम ओनली टू पेयर्स वुड बी द करेक्ट आंसर क्लियर सो टॉपिक द इंपॉर्टेंट पोर्ट्स इन इंडिया कंटीन्यूअसली फॉर द लास्ट टू टू थ्री इयर्स द क्वेश्चंस आर बीइंग आस्क्ड ऑन मेजर पोर्ट्स इन इंडिया क्लियर नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर Consider the following trees: that is, jackfruit, mahua, and teak. So, how many trees are deciduous trees? The question is, how many trees are deciduous trees? So, as a by this deciduous trees. the deciduous trees are those trees which shed their leaves during you know the summer season as well as during the you know the winter season because at the time the amount of the you know the water is not you know available in abundant form so india is a okay ki how many of the above are deciduous trees Clear? So deciduous trees. If you know that which trees you know shed their leaves and which are evergreen, you know uh, the trees, then you can be easily find out the answer of this question. Here you can see. Uh, is the wrong option. The fruit is not you know uh, grown in a. dry region jackfruit can be grown only in where the rain amount of rainfall is high so iske liye aapko core geography padhna zaruri hai and then only you could have been able to find out answer this question so the topic which you need to study like for the last the forest like for example last year a question pucha gaya tha about the sandalwood trees In 2022 prelims exam, there was a question on sandalwood trees. They have given one question that you know, uh, which among the uh, uh, forest the sandalwood trees found. Uh, 
which among the above trees are found in the deciduous forest so as a upc aspirant you need to study the types of the forest in india first these types of forest there are around you know seven to eight types of forest in india then you not only the types of forest in india where they are located the location of this forest what is the climatic region uska climatic region kya hai then which trees are found the trees are found in those you know the forest like which trees are found in semi evergreen forest which trees are found in deciduous forest which trees are found in mountain forest which trees are found in desert areas ya yeah, desert forest so that also you need to know so there is one question at least every year based on the types of the forest in india as well as their location their characteristics and the trees which are found in those forest so this is the third topic for you for the revision today right third topic which i have given to you that types of the forest in india revise it carefully revise it as per the uh, trend in the last 2 to 3 years exam usko question paper ko dekhna hai aur uske accordingly aapko revise karna hai clear i hope you all are getting it whatever i am discussing with you clear agar aapko kuch doubts hai kuch questions hai let me check it out so if you people have any doubts or question on telegram channel then i will be you know giving the answer of this question so ab tak maine i have discussed around you know uh, three questions any doubt about these three questions which you have asked till now which i have discussed till now you are getting it you are following it whatever i am discussing can anybody acknowledge it by saying yes or by giving thumb ya agar aapko kuch samajh nahi aa raha hai to please you can ask me a question by typing your question in the comment section everything is clear fine <coughs> now let's move on to the next question question number 4 i will be discussing just 10 questions today question number 4 again this question is related to the geography of india compared with you know china india has more arable area than china what do you think if you see the size of the india as well as the size of the china उसमें अगर आप देखेंगे दट एरेबल एरिया का मतलब क्या होता है मीनिंग ऑफ एरेबल एरिया मीन द लैंड विच इज यूजफुल फॉर एग्रीकल्चर द लैंड विच कैन बी यूज फॉर एग्रीकल्चर पर्पज जिसमें खेती की जा सकती है तो इंडिया हैज मोर अरेबल एरिया देन चाइना वेदर दिस स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट और नॉट ये पूछा गया सेकेंड द प्रपोर्शन ऑफ द इरीगेटेड एरिया इज मोर इन इंडिया एज कम्पेयर टू चाइना एनी बडी हु स्टडीड द इंडिया एंड चाइना कंपेरेटिव नो the economy of the india as well as china you can easily say that china has more you know irrigation infrastructure than india right pichle you know china is more ahead than india in terms of infrastructure irrigation infrastructure or any other infrastructure so anybody who have you know basic knowledge about india and china you can say that proportion of the irrigated area is more in india as compared to the china this statement is wrong right now let's move on to the third statement as well that you know the average productivity per hectare in indian agriculture is higher than that of china so agar second statement wrong hai the third statement is also wrong because you know the agricultural productivity in china is more than india clear so this statement is also wrong the first statement is of course true first statement kya yes india has more arable area than china because majority of the china is you know composed of the mountainous region majority of the china like you know, agar aap dekhenge china ka map agar aap अच्छी तरीके से चेक करेंगे तो आपको पता चल जाएगा ओनली द ईस्टर्न पार्ट ऑफ द चाइना इज अरेबल और वहां पे ही पॉपुलेशन ज्यादा है मेजोरिटी ऑफ द वेस्टर्न पार्ट इज अस्ट यू नो द माउंटेनस रीजन जहां पर ग्रेट वॉल ऑफ चाइना वगैरह है तो वो माउंटेनस रीजन है और इससे हम ये कह सकते हैं कि इंडिया हैज मोर अरेबल एरिया देन चाइना दिस इज ट्रू सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट इज रॉन्ग एंड थर्ड स्टेटमेंट इज ऑल्सो रॉन्ग द ऑफिशियल आंसर की ऑफ द यूपीएससी ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर इज ए many answer keys in the market many answers of the you know uh, uh, of the portals web portals as well as in the popular you know the coaching institute answer usme is question mein you know there is you know different answers by the different you know the coaching institute but the official answer is one only so how many of the above are correct pucha gaya hai so how many of the above majority of the students are getting confused bas aapko kya karna hai statement based question mein read the question carefully use some common sense use some logic and follow your guts follow your you know intuition because aapne kuch na kuch upsc ke liye padha hai to jo bhi aapne padha hai usko aapko follow karna chahiye believe me agar aap aise 40 question attempt karenge 
उसमें से आपके मैक्सिमम लाइक मिनिमम थर्टी क्वेश्चन तो सही हो जाएंगे इवन इफ यू गेट टेन रॉन्ग देन यू नो यू विल बी गेटिंग ट्वेंटी करेक्ट आंसर सो टेन माइनस थ्री सो यू विल बी गेटिंग यू नो सेवेंटीन करेक्ट आंसर सो टोटल थर्टी फोर मार्क्स आपके मिल जाएंगे इफ यू जस्ट फॉलो यूर गर्स बट ऑफकोर्स इस तरीके के यू नो क्वेश्चन को लॉजिक या कॉमन सेंस इस्तेमाल करने के लिए यूज करने के लिए भी थोड़ा बहुत कुछ बेसिक पढ़ना जरूरी है आपको पीएचडी नहीं करना है थोड़ा बहुत भी अगर आपने बेसिक पढ़ा है बेसिक एनसीआरटी पढ़ा है बेसिक ज्योग्राफी पढ़ा है न्यूज पेपर को अगर रेगुलरली पढ़ा है तो यू कुड बी एबल टू फाइंड आउट डाउट बस आपको अपने पे विश्वास होना चाहिए कि मैं जो क्वेश्चन अटेंड कर रहा हूं वो सही है क्लियर चलो नाउ लेट्स वॉन्ट टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव एनीवेज टॉपिक क्या होगा इसमें वॉट टॉपिक इकोनॉमी इंडियन इकोनॉमी विद चाइनीज इकोनॉमी जब आप कंपेयर करेंगे तो कौन से एरिया में करेंगे आप ऑफकोर्स ये एग्रीकल्चरल लाइन के बारे में तो ऑलरेडी पूछा गया है ना यू विल बी कंपेयरिंग अबाउट द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सेक्टर यू विल बी कंपेयरिंग अबाउट द जीडीपी ऑफ चाइना एंड जीडीपी ऑफ इंडिया जीडीपी ऑफ चाइना एंड जीडीपी ऑफ इंडिया TFR that is fertility rate. You also need to check about the aged population and you know young population in China and India. Demographic dividend. In सारे चीजों के बारे में आपको comparison करना है. The comparison of Indian economy with Chinese economy. Indian economy with the Chinese economy. You following it? Clear? Now let's move on to the next question. Question number five. May I know whether this uh, session is being recorded? Move on to the next question. Question number five. Which one of the best example repeatedly falls in the sea level and giving rise to the present day extensive marshland? So this is a question on you know the Indian geography. द लोकेशन लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल अर्लियर क्वेश्चन ऑन भीतर कने का मतलब आई थिंक इन टू थाउजेंड सेवनटीन और टू थाउजेंड यू नो टू थाउजेंड शायद में क्वेश्चन पूछा गया था अगर आपको ये पता है कि भीतर कने का कहाँ आया टू थाउजेंड सेवनटीन ऑलरेडी आस्ट अबाउट इट then naudhapa swamp the question has been also asked and ranap kach one of the similarity between all these four options ye jitne bhi sare char option answer mein diye gaye hain that all the, all them are the ramsar convention sites in india so bitterkani ka mangrove is also wetland markram salt pan is also wetland naunda pa swamp is also wetland and ranap kach is also a example of wetland clear so upsc ke kuch favorite wetlands hain jin wetlands pe continuously upsc question puchta hai one is you know the bitterkani ka aapko although logical importance kya then you can be able to find out the answer of the question in 2024 so go through all the ramsar convention sites and important wetlands in india important wetlands this is the topic which you located in the west part of gujarat 
तो वहां पर एक स्पेसिफिक इकोलॉजिकल इंपॉर्टेंस है दैट इज वाइल्ड लैस इज यू नो फाउंड इन दिस रन ऑफ कच तो रन ऑफ कच वाइल्ड लैस इस पे हमेशा क्वेश्चन पूछा गया है सो द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन दैट यू नो व्हिच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द बेस्ट एग्जांपल ऑफ द रिपीटेड फॉल्स इन सी लेवल गिविंग बिकॉज ये मार्शलैंड है तो वहां का बॉर्डर प्रॉपरली डिफाइन नहीं किया गया है एज अ इंडियन पाकिस्तान बॉर्डर तो ये आपको देखना जरूरी है सो ऑल दिस ये चारों के बारे में आपको देखना है अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट यू ऑल्सो नीड टू चेक इट आउट द रिमेनिंग यू नो child abundantly available in certain coastal tracts of india are rich sources of which one of the following ye question hai mineral resources distribution of mineral resources in india every year there is one question on mineral resources mineral resources in india clear so when the upsc is asking the question on distribution of the mineral resources they are not asking about you know the major mineral resources like uh, iron or copper or manganese or you know uh, coal etc they are asking about the rare earth minerals pichle 2 3 saal se the question is being asked about the rare earth minerals why because rare earth minerals have become important for our e vehicles so go and check it out all the you know material or you know the minerals required for minerals required for electric vehicles or electric battery technology electric battery technology mein istemal hone wale ya use hone wale jitne bhi sare mineral resources hain wo aapko dekhna zaruri hai so ilmenite and rutile are the rare earth minerals they are not very commonly you know or majority mein available hone wale abundant mein available hone wale mineral resources nahi hai they are the rare earth minerals the question has been asked so ab kya pucha gaya that ilmenite and rutile abundantly available in certain coastal tracts of india of course they are abundantly available but they are not abundantly available all over india they are available in coastal tracts of india अगर ये कोस्टल ट्रैक्स ऑफ इंडिया ये ट्रिगर वर्ड है एज ऑलवेज से कि जब भी आप यूपीएससी में क्वेश्चन देख रहे हो या ऑप्शन देख रहे हो तो उस समय में आपको क्या करना जरूरी है यू हैव टू चेक यू नो गो थ्रू द स्टेटमेंट केयरफुली एंड फाइंड आउट सम ट्रिगर वर्ड सो व्हाट इज द ट्रिगर वर्ड इन दिस क्वेश्चन इज दैट कि दीज मिनरल रिसोर्सेज आर फाउंड इन कोस्टल ट्रैक्स ऑफ इंडिया अगर आपने ये यूपीएससी ने जानबूझ कर दिया यूपीएससी जब भी कोई वर्ड इस्तेमाल करता है चाहे वो क्वेश्चन में हो चाहे वो यू नो ऑप्शन में हो तो उसका कुछ ना कुछ मतलब होता है या वो कहीं ना कहीं किसी ना किसी तरीके से इट विल बी हेल्पफुल हेल्पिंग फॉर यू इन फाइंडिंग आउट आंसर और अगर कोई क्वेश्चन का आंसर अगर नहीं बन पा रहा है आपसे नहीं यू you नो know, निकल रहा है इतने सब कुछ पढ़ने के बावजूद इतना सब कुछ पढ़ाई करने के बावजूद भी अगर नहीं निकल रहा है तो इसका मतलब क्या है कि आपको क्वेश्चन समझ में नहीं आया यू हैव टू रीड द क्वेश्चन केयरफुल सो वट इज मैं कोस्टल ट्रैक्स ऑफ इंडिया ठीक है now let's me check the options aluminum then iron and copper agar aapne india ka mineral resources distribution ko agar aapne achhi tarike se padha hai you can find out that iron is not you know abundantly available in coastal areas iron is available in chatisgarh jharkhand chhota nagpur plateau etc which is not the part of the you know the coastal area so you can easily eliminate iron clear we can eliminate iron copper is also not available in the coastal areas copper is available in rajasthan right rajasthan mein kahan par hai it is available around the aravalli mountain ranges agar aapne mineral distribution ko acche se padha hai then you can eliminate you know copper you can also eliminate aluminum because aluminum is available in the red soil area which is in the you know jharkhand chatisgarh ya bihar is area mein jahan par you know thodi bahut zyada barish hoti hai jo
coastal tracts of India. So, Rehta hai, remaining option is Titania. So, even if you don't know whether the Elamanite and Rutile are the rich source of the titanium or not, but if you know that aluminum is not in the coastal area, hai, copper is not in the coastal area, and iron is not in the coastal area, mein nahi paya jata hai. Sir, in question itself, बस आपको वो ढूंढते आना चाहिए कि कहाँ UPSC आपको मदद कर रहा है, कौन सा ऐसा trigger word है, कौन सा ऐसा you know word है कि जिससे आपको answer निकालने में मदद हो सके। अब problem ही होता है ना कि exam hall में under that pressure, you go through the last two to three year question paper continuously. Regularly, if you read the PYQ question, you will read the answer to the exam. So, after the exam hall, you will feel like the last year was asked in the last year. Last year, 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 you know, when someone is a new person, you have to understand the swabhav and the nature of that person. It takes a lot of time. But you know, when you meet that person again and again and again, you know, maybe after one month or maybe after two months, three months. I'm audible to all of you. Hope you people can hear me properly. The psychology of the question frame, like what UPS is demanding from you, what UPS is expecting from you. So what was expected in this particular question from you is that you were supposed to, you know, Focus on this particular word that is in the coastal tracts of India. This is the you know strategy of solving the question. Now coming back to the topics. As I already told you, the topic is mineral resources especially rare earth mineral resources or rare mineral resources. If that rare mineral resources are not available in India, then resources, if they are not available in India, then if they are available abundantly in which country? That also we need to check it out. Matlab, us country se kya hum us uh, uh, mineral resources to import kar rahe hain, ye UPSC put sakta hai agli baar. So there will be direct questions or assertion reason, I don't know, but there will be at least one question on you know the rare earth minerals in India and uh, if they are not available in India and cobalt a metal required for the manufacture of batteries for electric motor vehicles is produced by as i told you electric motor vehicle ke liye jo rare earth minerals hai na uske bare mein question continuously pucha ja raha hai the earlier question was about elemanite and rutile the next question is about you know the cobalt so write it down cobalt aapko dekhna hai recently there was one more important you know the mineral resources jiske bare mein indian express mein aaya tha that is much abundantly available in sri lanka which is much needed in the electric vehicles. Le electric vehicle use lithium ion. So, lithium is one of the important raw material. 
उसके अलावा एक और है दैट इज कॉल्ड ग्रफाइट ग्रफाइट इज ऑल्सो मच नीडेड फॉर द इलेक्ट्रिक बैटरीज सो यू नीड टू नो एंड चेक इट आउट वेयर द ग्रफाइट इज यू नो अवेलेबल इन इंडिया if it is not available in india from which country india imports the graphite and uh, what is the use of the graphite so i'm expecting next time the question can be asked on graphite this time they have asked about cobalt any idea ki kaun si country man you know uh, Hello all, I'm audible to all of you. Can you all hear my voice? I'm sorry, I'm having some uh, network congestion. Is my voice audible to all of you? Can you all hear my voice now? Fine. Yes, it's audible. Let me continue. so in 2023 the question was on cobalt i have given you the expected you know the topic uh, topics i hope you can see the question now on your screen so question number 7 the answer is c that is democratic republic of congo one more important observation which i have found for the last 2 to 3 years that upsc is continuously asking question on am audible to all of you the answer of this question is c that is republic congo or republic of congo you have to check it out all the african countries with which india had signed some agreements agreements with respect to the supply of supply of raw material it may be minerals etc recently india had signed an agreement with nigeria right so go and check it out why india had signed the agreement or mou with nigeria for you know uh for one of the important you know the mineral resources clear so the answer is c that is democratic republic of congo now question number 8 which are among the following is the part of the congo basin c upar bhi congo se related question pucha gaya hai that republic congo is the answer of that question so which among the following is a part of the congo basin this was again purely map based question map based question there are at least two or three questions on maps especially world map there are certain areas jisme upsc bahut zyada ruchi rakhta hai ya bahut zyada interest upsc mein hai actually upsc ka ruchi is wajah se hai because india ka ruchi us un countries mein hai us region mein zyada right so 2017 or 18 onwards such type of questions are being asked repeatedly earlier upsc used to ask question on southeast asia southeast asia pe question puche gaye the like southeast asian countries like you know uh, indonesia malaysia yahan par question pucha gaya tha few days they have asked questions on west asia west asia pe question puche gaye the like you know jordan israel lebanon and you know uh, mediterranean sea baltic sea black sea etc map based question this year they have asked question on africa and i'm expecting next year also they might be asking question on africa so you have to go through the whole map of africa in detail you have to go through all the countries which are located in the africa you have to check important mountain ranges in africa important you know the lakes of africa important rivers of africa then you also have to check it out the important you know the lakes in uh, the rift valley जो अफ्रीका के रिफ्ट वाले में कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट लेक्स है उसको आपको देखना है और अफ्रीका में कौन से मिनरल रिसोर्सेस 
अबेडेंटली मिलते हैं वो आपको चेक करना बिकॉज अफ्रीका हैज बिकम द एरिया ऑफ इंटरेस्ट फॉर यूपीएससी एरिया ऑफ इंटरेस्ट फॉर यूपीएससी फॉर द लास्ट टू ईयर्स and uh, as well as for government of india because government of india is focusing more on africa now that we are trying to create more and more relations and more and more agreements and mou with the african countries for its you know the raw material requirement for its mineral resources requirement the answer of this question that which among the following is the part of the congo basin congo basin kaun sa ye pucha gaya question number 8 the answer of this question is cameroon cameroon is the part of the congo basin which one of the following is a part of the congo basin answer is you know the cameroon if you see the nigeria south sudan and uganda they are not located in in and around the you know uh, the congo river so ye aapko bas dekhna hai clear so see the map of africa in detail now question number 9 next question Yes, this is again one of the favorite area, favorite topics. जहाँ पर continuously question UPSC पूछ रहा है. Let me read this question carefully first, and then I will give you the topic. Question first statement says that Amarkantak Hills are at the confluence of Vindhya and Sahyadri ranges. Second statement, Biligiri Ranjan Hills constitute the easternmost part of the Satpura range. Third statement, Sesh Chalam Hills constitute the southernmost part of the Western Ghats. So, topic क्या है? Topic is hills of India. Hills of Can you see the question on the screen? Is it visible? Fine. So let me continue. So you can see. Pura Range, Satmala Range, then Vindhya Range. like chota nagpur plateau right so these are the part of the western ghat is nilgiri hills so nilgiri hills which are located here nilgiri hills joins western ghats and eastern ghats a question pucha gaya tha 2022 prelims exam so when i was you know giving the strategy for my students in 2023 prelims study you need to study all the important hills in india western ghat eastern ghats then you also need to check it out you need to check it out the uh, aravalli mountain range then vindhya mountain that the himalayan mountain range is spread over five states in india kya pucha gaya tha the himalayan mountain range are located in the five states in india second question second segment was that the eastern sorry the western ghats are located in five states in india the 1 2022 same has been also been asked in 2023 but the question was framed in a different way so let's see the question amar kantak hills are at the confluence of vindhya
sorry window ranges are lied in this uh, you know direction aise hai aur ye jo hai western ghats aise hai and amarkantak plateau jo ya amarkantak hill jo na they are located here they are not located at the joining point that they are not located here वेस्टर्न घट्स का लोकेशन ऐसे है Sesh Chalam Hills are located here. They are located here. So what is mentioned here? Sesh Chalam Hills are also called as Sri Shailam. And not the Western Ghat. Two things are here. Here it is written in the Western Ghat. This is also wrong. Because Sesh Chalam Hills are the part of the Eastern Ghat. and not the part of the western map so yahan pe hello friend to stud topic kya hai the hill ranges of flat uh, no plateau hill uh, himalayan ranges uske alawa ek aur hai the hill ranges of west north eastern india गारो खासी जयंतिया ये सारे चीजें आपको देखना है वो कहाँ पर लोकेटेड है और कौन से स्टेट में लोकेटेड है सो दिस इज द असाइनमेंट टॉपिक फॉर यू फॉर द रिविजन टू मोर इफ यू आर प्लानिंग टू गिव एग्जाम इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन लास्ट क्वेश्चन आई विल डिस्कस देन आई विल स्टॉप एंड आई चेक द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम यू विथ रेफरेंस टू द प्रोजेक्ट ऑन द चिंग कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग इंडिया प्रोजेक्ट ईस्ट वेस्ट कॉरिडोर के बारे में पूछा गया है ईस्ट वेस्ट कॉरिडोर अंडर द गोल्डन क्वाड्रिलेटरल प्रोजेक्ट कनेक्ट डिब्रूगढ़ एंड सूरत सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम मॉडर्न ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम इन इंडिया ट्रांसपोर्ट में आपको देखना है National waterways, important national waterways. You have to check it out. Important national, you know, the highways, and you also need to check it out. The important, you know, the ports in India. जो पहले भी क्वेश्चन पूछा गया. This is the part of the, you know, the infrastructure in India. तो यहाँ पर ये पूछा गया है कि जो golden quadrilateral है, which was started by Atal Bihari Vajpayee. सुवर्ण चतुष्कोण प्रोजेक्ट था जिसमें यू नो अ गोल्डन क्वाड्रिलेटरल वाज क्रिएटेड नो कनेक्टिंग फोर मेजर सिटीज ऑफ नॉर्थ वेस्ट ईस्ट एंड साउथ तो ईस्ट वेस्ट कॉरिडोर अंडर द गोल्डन क्वाड्रिलेटरल प्रोजेक्ट कनेक्ट डिब्रूगढ़ विद सूरत ये पूछा गया सेकंड ट्राई सेकंड सेगमेंट ट्राई लैटरल हाईवेज कनेक्ट मोरे इन मणिपुर एंड चियांग माई इन थाईलैंड वाया म्यांमार सो दिस इज अगेन Uh, you can say uh, on the international corridor matlab india bangladesh and myanmar se related corridor pucha gaya third statement hai bangladesh china india myanmar economic corridor connects varanasi in uttar pradesh to coming in china kya lagta hai kya india koi aisa project banayega aur jisme china india ko madad karega is tarike ka economic corridor banane mein Do you know corridor war chal raha hai between India and you know China? पिछले कुछ दिनों से continuously corridor war बना रहा है like China अपना एक corridor बना रहा है और India उसको counter करने के लिए दूसरा corridor बना रहा है. So I think third statement should be correct or wrong. Third statement थोड़ा सा अगर common sense use करेंगे तो that statement is wrong because China will never you know be a part of the corridor 
which can you know, just be India. Okay. So third statement is also wrong. Second statement is also wrong, and first statement is also wrong. So option ten is B. We can see one interesting analysis of me that you know question number nine and question number ten. दोनों के आंसर डी नन और बहुत बार ऐसे हुआ है कि नो लगातार दो क्वेश्चन के आंसर सेम ऑप्शन हो रहे हैं लाइक डी डी बी बी ए ए एक्सेट्रा दिस इज जस्ट एन ऑब्जर्वेशन इट इज नॉट मे बी हंड्रेड परसेंट अप्लाई नहीं होगा बट इट इज जस्ट माय ऑब्जर्वेशन क्लियर सो दीज आर द टेन क्वेश्चन विच आई हैव डिस्कस टूडे सो टेन क्वेश्चन एंड टेन टॉपिक्स विच आई हैव गिवन यू फॉर द रिविजन Last time revision to you. Yet, gen topics. You have to see. The topic is one: the important transports in India. Second, question number nine: important hills in India. Question number nine: main. Cities of Africa. then mineral resources rare earth mineral resources are ramsar wetlands of india then comparison of india with china then important forest and trees in india and you know the types of चाहिए आई कैन ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड इट टू यू मे बी टुमारो मॉर्निंग और मे बी टूडे इवनिंग आई विल बी गिविंग यू लिस्ट ऑफ दिस टॉपिक वंस अगेन एंड आई विल बी ऑल्सो गिविंग यू यू नो आई विल बी गिविंग यू द टॉपिक्स एज वेल फॉर द रिवीजन एंड बेस्ड ऑन दैट आई कैन को क्या करना है you have to take 10 questions each day make the list of the topics on which the upsc is continuously asking the question study it properly is exercise ko aapko roz ek ya do ghanta karna baki waqt mein agar aapko time hai to go for your Yeah, because a lot of times, you know, the students, you know, keep on studying and studying and studying only. They are, you know, uh, going through the material because there is a lot of material available in the market. Saro no material hi padte jaate hain, lekin strategy nahi banate hain. If you don't have the strategy in so now. Uh, It is up to you now. अभी आप लोगों को अगर कुछ क्वेश्चन पूछना है यू कैन आस्क मी इन द कमेंट्स जस्ट द कमेंट सेक्शन इज ऑन नाउ इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट एनी क्वेश्चन प्लीज आस्क so i know the template which is shared with you i am sharing my number in the comment section if you have any doubts you can message me directly i will be helping you like i am i am available for upcoming 15 days whatever doubts with respect to your revision topics whatever doubts with respect to your you know uh, your Yes, समान इज आस्ट मी क्वेश्चन हाउ टू मैनेज करंट अफेयर्स इन स्टैटिक आज जो मैंने क्वेश्चन डिस्कस किए हैं दीज आर द क्वेश्चन ऑफ द स्टैटिक पार्ट द करंट अफेयर क्वेश्चन बिगिन फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी ऑनवर्ड्स सो वेन आई विल बी टेकिंग द दो यू नो द टेन इज रिपीटेडली आस्किंग द क्वेश्चन so you can pull out 2021 2022 and 2023 this is sufficient usse pehle wala dekhna zaruri nahi hai 2022 23 uh, and 21 so in sare vy2 aapko pull out karna hai har section was like geography mein kaun se topic pe question puche ja rahe hain history mein kaun se
area may be different but if you can observe that you know there are some areas there are certain things there are certain you know the topics on which you basically keeps repeating the question again and again clear so this is applicable to all subjects like environment science and technology is fine now let me give you one more uh, info that you know i will be discussing 10 such question every day if you want to join the discussion and uh, i will be giving you around you know maybe every day around i believe that out of 100 at least you know 40 to 50 questions you can be able to solve if you just go through those topics and study those topics just before the prelims exam clear fine anything else fine so i have already taken you are one and half hour so stop it see you tomorrow again at the same time for the remaining 10 questions tomorrow